M0FXP, welcome back to the channel. Take a look here. You've heard about these Quashangs that have been modified. And I did have a go at doing one, but decided to purchase this one from a, a UK ham radio operator who modifies them and sells them on eBay. So you can see straight away, look, extra antenna. Now these, you know, they were, they are about around, around the 80 pound mark. So I just bear that in mind. But anyway, I'm not complaining because, you know, I, I just, <laughs> When I did do the other one, it just drove me crazy. So I'm just going to get everything out of the box that's included. So we've got the the radio, the battery. Yes, it is USB-C charging. The strap, uh, the original instructions that came, and the original box. Also included is a CB antenna. So for 28 megs, 27 megs, BNC, and uh, the usual base cradle charger for the K6 and a belt strap. Uh, this antenna adapter here, which is quite tight to the knob, but that's fine. And I'm gonna put my HF antenna on there, BNC adapter. So let's get the, let's just get the belt clip on there, uh, which goes on the actual battery. And just slip it on. I do like the Quashang belt clips. And wrist strap. I always put them on because you will one day drop your radio if you haven't got your wrist strap on. I have dropped every radio I have ever owned and that taught me a lesson and that is always put them on. And not so much when you're at home, not too bad at home. The second you walk out the door, radios just go flying. I don't know why, they just do. So there you are, that's on there. Uh, I've never turned this on before. Now, have you heard of the of KD8 CEC? That's the the firmware software they tend to use on these. Um, so just clip that on. Now, this modification isn't just the HF mod, which allows you beneath fifteen megahertz. Oh wait. Um, so I'm not sure. I'm actually because I've never turned it on. Says wait, I'm gonna leave that. Ooh. Looks smart straight away. Let's get both antennas on. Now he has emailed me instructions. So there's my HF antenna connected there. Let's zoom out a bit. Like so now if I was outside the house I I would take the antenna that's been provided. Anyway, it includes the latest PCB version 5. Also, the memory mod 512 kilobytes for additional memory. So, I literally, like I said, I literally have never used it. We're on the A band. Look, it's letting me tune up and down. And I'm, I'm, I'm you know, I'm, I am actually hearing. It's not, it's not muting as I tune. And we're in USB mode there. Let's just, let's type a frequency. We'll go up, zero. How many zeros? Seven. Ah, so three, three zeros we needed. So, let's exit again. Then seven, one, we don't want one, we want the dot. <laughs> so of course I'm going to have to get used to typing in frequencies, but I haven't read the manual yet that has been sent to me. Oh, do you see that? The B band has got broadcast radio and you get proper frequencies on screen there. Let's quickly look at the menu. And look, EPROM view, presets analyzer, band scan, channels, VFO. Okay, I'm going to show you the firmware I've got because it actually says Reborn. And I've never used Reborn before. Okay, we hold down the band. Then we'll go up to 40, press menu, 
We're now on 40. LSB. You can definitely hear, you know, that we're getting something there on my wire. Oh. We need to change the step, don't we? I haven't worked out yet. Come on. Listen to that. The thing about the charging base, it's a great stand. Oh, I like that. So to go A and B, just hold down the two, and it goes to the B and back to the A. There is a pause as it switches. It says wait, and then it switches, and then it works. No and you've got VFO memory just holding down three. So the tiny little there. Of course, you can just tune like that. I just press the star. And it started scanning. Oh, pressed it again. Now it's gone black. So watch this star. No, hang on a minute. We, we held it. And it just scanned. And it found, so actually did find something. Let's do it again. Go down with the arrow. Let it scan. When you press again, I, I don't know what that screen is, but anyway, press exit. Let's hold down band and do 20. So you're seeing bands 23 SEMs. You've got a oh, very wide band received. Even Laura, that's interesting. That's your Mishtastic. Wow. Business, PMR, it's going to have Marine and all that, isn't it? That's a long list. Maria's Marine. Let's just select it. Yeah, and, that, and that's a classic Marine frequency. I haven't got a Marine antenna on there. I'm interested now, has it automatically switched to the VHF antenna that you can still connect? Because remember, we've got two antennas. You know, that's the other cool thing about this. We've got two antennas. Um, so anyway, that's uh, I'll go outside and actually do some tests on that. So we'll just exit that, hold down band again. Just keep flicking business, two meter ham business, air. We will test that separately, but all military, all these have been put in, you know, by, you know, it came out of the box like this. So let's go menu for CB. And I grab my UK CB. You can see it there, 2760125. And I am a bit near it, to be honest. I haven't got the right antenna on, but I'll, I'll just quickly say hello. One, two, yeah, it's not, that's not receiving anything at the moment, but one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. But anyway, one, two. And I highly recommend those, um, those Thunderpole CBs. I just think they're good. Right, okay. Let's keep looking. So we'll go back down to 20. So you don't get this device and just straight away know how to do everything. The other day someone messaged me and said, oh, I'm a newbie, so I'm just going to buy a boat, uh, Quashang UVK6, which is what this is, yeah? And I just thought to, my, thought to myself, 
you're so wrong that you think these K5s, K6s, even without the modifica modificated board, uh, modified board, are um, are, for, are suitable for newbie newbies, although they are, I do think they are, but there's massive, massive learning. Um, don't forget, you can load firmware that will receive above 15 megahertz and all the a lot of the bands that you just saw you can load that firmware without having to modify anything but anyway let's just do the scan we want to go up really so we'll go up it says usb let's just let it do its thing so yeah completely pleased with that now if you bought the radio yourself is 20 pounds if you buy the bits that you need to modify let's just say the parts are at 15 pounds say 20 pounds it's going to cost you 40 pounds to buy it but have you seen how much work's involved and if you if you're not very confident with soldering for an extra 45 pound you get the don't forget you've got the hardware modification for the antenna which is the to me the hard not the hardest but a very difficult part then you you may think to yourself, well, it's going to be better if I just pay the extra. I mean, my antenna doesn't actually do that get that great on on twenty meters. So let's end the video for now because I want to learn this device, you know, in more detail. And. Yeah, I think I'm going to have great fun with it. And remember, you don't have to use this Reborn firmware. KD8CEC has made some really good firmware as well. And there's another one as well. I think it's Fadgy Reborn, which is what we've got. So I'll put a link in. And thanks very much for watching my YouTube channel on the modified question. This is the, and this is the UVK6 model. And you do still get, you know, your usual twin pin connector, USB-C charging programmable buttons uh, everything is the same and i got it in green because i don't want it to look like all my other radios oh i do have a collection of green radios now i've got the as you can see there the h3 which also can be modified what's the other one i've got in green i've got i don't know if you've seen this one and this is the talk pod radio that you can run the virtual apk on so how cool is that and then we need to just get an antenna on there. Bye for now.